My uncle was an alcoholic, and as a result, his boys got into drugs and alcohol at a very early age. The youngest one started using and abusing drugs at 13. He even fathered a child when he was only 13 years of age. And then at 16 years of age, he overdosed on drugs. I've been on a business trip and at this time I was living in Wisconsin and I flew back into Chicago O'Hare's airport. I was 21, 22 years of age. My wife met me at the airport and she said, I've got some bad news for you. Your cousin OD'd on drugs and they do not know if he'll make it through the night. So we rushed to the hospital and stood by his bedside and prayed through the night that the Lord would spare his life. And God was gracious and spared his life. But you know, my cousin, like so many others, struggled with addiction every day of his life. And for the next 25 years, he'd go through periods of time where he was clean and periods of time where he was using and abusing drugs again. He ended up in jail, not once, but numerous times. Finally, in prison from being a drug addict. He spent some time in prison, and when he got out, he called me and he said, Hey, Kerry, I'm doing great, man. I'm over all of this stuff. That was on a Monday morning. On Friday night, he would started a new job that week, and, or the week before, and he got paid. And the son, whom he had fathered at 13 years of age, was now a grown man. My cousin was in his early 20s. And he and the son and another friend of the son went out and bought some heroin and went back to the house and they all shot up heroin into their veins. The son and his friend decided that they would go down to the local hamburger joint and get some food because they all had the munchies. And they left my cousin there alone. And while they were gone, he had some heroin left over and he took another hit filled that syringe and stuck it into his arm and instantly killed himself from a heroin overdose. My friend, it was a tragic time for our family, a time of tremendous pain and anguish. And I don't want to see anyone go through that. You see, I've been personally touched by addiction, not only with my cousin, but another cousin and an uncle, either dying from alcohol or drug addiction. And I don't want to see you or your family members go through the pain that we've gone through. So our ministry, Addiction Knockout and In Your Corner Ministries, has compiled a list, a very comprehensive list, of almost every faith-based program in America that you can go to or get a family member to. And I want to give that list to you absolutely free. Just go to addictionknockout.com and you'll be able to get that list. Now, we've also developed a product called Addiction Knockout, which is a recovery group program. It's something that you can take online individually or you can do a group in your church or in your prison or jail ministry and we have the material for you. It's called Addiction Knockout, and it's available at addictionknockout.com.